Alright, what up guys, g Dog Casey here, and guess what? It's the weekend, and that means it's StarCraft 2 weekend, and I'm pumped to put up some videos on YouTube for you guys, even though it seems like nobody cares about them. I don't care. It's mostly for me. So let's get this started. Oops. Screwing up already. Um, I'd like to also point out that I have just woken up. So here we go, here's g Dog Casey up here in the top right corner, with the Terran as usual, and my opponent for today is... Slick McRip and he is playing Protoss so early on I mean let's just put it on double speed here for a bit take a look at what's gonna happen here pretty basic opening obviously at the, at the start you're just building SCVs and probes he gets down a pylon I get down an SCV or uh, sorry a supply depot Let's see. Now, the thing about Terran and versus Protoss is um, there's some Terran units that are very good against Protoss. Now, admittedly, there's some Protoss units that are very good against uh, Terran as well, but those seem to be a little bit later tier, uh, later tier units like the Colossus or the Immortals are pretty good against um, you know the, the Marauders, which are what I'm talking about for the for the uh, Terran. Marauders are very good against early. Protoss units. Um, so we'll see what I do in regards to Marauders in this game. We see he's getting his uh, gateway down, which is obviously uh, pretty standard, and he's getting a Cybernetics Core right beside it. Cybernetics Core provides the upgrade that you really want for the gateway, which is the warp gate, so you can warp in units to any uh, pylon you got. He's got a probe sitting here at Zelnaga Watchtower, so he can see if I'm going to get some sort of push going towards him. There's my SCV just getting some scouting on, noting that he's got two gas, so he's going to be trying to spend as much gas as possible. Up here I got my two barracks, and my, uh, and just one gas, and shit, I missed it. I went for a quick, fast expand, um, which really is really good on this map. There's other maps that are even better for it, but it's something I've been trying to practice, is getting two barracks down, and then expanding, and then once I build my expansion, then I start getting my gas. As you can see, I don't even have guys in this uh, refinery right now, which is a bit of a new move. I should get those guys in there. There we go. Got them in. Three guys in there. Starting to build my second gas. And I'm starting to pump out some marines here so I can slow this down. Because it's going a little faster than I wanted to. Um, yeah, so we got my second uh, orbital command coming in. Obviously, the orbital command is what allows me to call down mules and do some scanning if I need it. So we get the transfer over there. They're getting ready to go. And let's see what's going on in my base over here. Still building marines because my gas is still pretty low. So uh, I wasn't really ready to get started on those marauders yet. And so far he's got a couple sentries, a couple stalkers, and a zealot. And here I take out this probe so I can take a hold of that Zelnaga watchtower. And there we go. My opponent's building in three stalkers, or sorry, four stalkers, trying to get a decent force. Right now, he's got a bit of a better army than me because obviously all I have are these marines. And I'm still pumping out more marines. And there we go. Using some of my gas now, dropping down an engineering bay, and some more SCVs and some more marines. And there goes my third barracks. Something um, that is fairly well known is called the uh, three barracks push, which uh, a lot of people use against Protoss because if you can do that early enough, then uh, you know it's very effective. Although I think in this game I got it down pretty late that third barracks. Oh, well, here's another engineering base, so I can get double upgrades at once. I might even start. Okay, yeah, I got my uh, my attack plus one, and I have. Oh, there we go. There's my tech my tech lab, which I am not learning anything. And I got a reactor going down. There's my third gas, as well as my fourth gas. I'm trying to pump up that gas now, because my goal is to uh, get out a bunch of marauders, get all my upgrades that I need, which I'm still not doing. I don't know why. I built this. I should be getting my attack upgrade, or my armor upgrade here, but I'm not. I have quite a bit of money right now, so I think my macro is slipping a little bit. Oh, and check this out. Proxy pylon by the Protoss. What he wants to do with this is bring up his, his main force that he's got here, which is still a pretty good number right now. I mean, if you were to attack now, 
he'd easily take me out. But he can also warp in more units right in this circle. Um, even right up on this high ground here, right into my face. So uh, it's a pretty good placement, and, and if you can uh, take a look at my sight, I can't see it yet. I still can't see it. So we'll see if that comes into play there. And finally I start getting on my Marauders, and finally I start building all the stuff I need to do. I'm getting another command center down for third expansion. I'm getting a uh, factory down so I can uh, move on to that starport. And I'm getting my stim, my concussive shells, and my... I'm still not getting my armor. I wonder why I missed that. <clears throat> I don't know, I'm getting a little supply block blocked here. Uh, but I got some supply depots going down, so that's good. I had to move this over here so I had room for the reactor. And if you can take a look right now, I actually have... Let's go to the units tab. I'm making more money by far than this uh, this Protoss player. Oh, and here comes the push. So in this game, I actually managed to, to keep building SCVs better than my opponent was. So that's good. I've been trying to work on not forgetting to build SCVs, so at least it paid off in this game. In regards to my SCVs, but my army, as you can see, is pretty small. And just as he moves out, I decide to move out, and I notice the pylon. So I try to get rid of it, but unfortunately I can't. Those zealots are ripping me up. Now these marauders, I only have two of them, but they are beast against these stalkers. And for whatever reason, he has the blink stalkers, actually, which is a very good upgrade for them. He decides to back off. I mean, I'm pretty sure he could have cleared me out there. But, <coughs> whatever, he's backing off, so we'll go back up here. See what's going on. There's my starport. Just waiting to be swapped over to that reactor. Building some more supply depots. Getting my... Uh, let's go back to production. I'm getting my combat shield upgrade from the TAC lab. So, as you can see, as soon as that's done, check out my marines. Alright, let's go. Boom! Shields. Cool. They look beastie with those shields. Getting my third orbital command, which is over here, and I think my goal is to move it right here. So we'll be doing that. But what I don't know is he's got an observer right here. I haven't noticed, because it's invisible. He can see basically everything that I'm doing. So you'll notice as soon as I finally decide to move this over to uh, this expansion here, you'll see what happens there. Putting down some more barracks. Two of them. Got a barracks here, got a barracks coming here. The more barracks, the better. If you have this much money, just build unit producing uh, buildings. In this case, my main force is going to be uh, Marines and Marauders. So I, I should build like eight more barracks, you know, because obviously I don't need to have this much money. It's just being wasted. And here we go as I lift my uh, Orbital Command right into the Observer's face, who he happens to be focusing on right now. So he sees that. So what does he do as soon as he sees? And he's just going for a second base right now. So the early expansion, as you can see, like look at the difference in terms of money we have. I have 2,500. He's got 200. Now technically that's a, that's good for him. He's spending his money. He's not letting it slip. But at the same time, I mean, I can build whatever the hell I want right now. He's he's still kind of waiting on, on uh, money getting to that point. So he easily takes up that third expansion, and I'm like, oh shit, I better go get him. With the stim, with much more marauders this time, and he decides to back off again, because this time my force is actually pretty strong. Meanwhile, I got medevacs coming out, I got more marauders, more marines coming out. Um, <laughs> I had so much money that I just queued them all up. You're really not supposed to queue them, because it's technically a waste of money. You're supposed to keep keep an eye on what's going on and just build them one or two at a time at the most. But I just queue them up because whatever, I have so much money, it doesn't matter. Four medevacs is usually enough for me. Now if I wanted, I can start some sort of drop harassment, but I think in this game, I just decided to keep the, keep the medevacs above my army here so that I'll, I can get constant healing, which I love. And I'm starting to get the siege tank upgrade and starting to build some tanks just for defense and also to spend some money because honestly I'm not I don't really use tanks very much against the Protoss but um, you know I'm also supply blocked so I don't really know what I'm doing about that but let's see he's got the robotics bay and the Templar archives Templar archives are pretty awesome let's see where are they 
I don't even know what they look like. Is that the no, it's Twilight Council. The robotics facilities where he's gonna be pumping out his immortals if he had the money to be pumping them out. I mean he can make two right now, but that's it. And here comes my army swinging around the left side. And his observer sees it coming, I believe. Oh no, he doesn't even see it coming. Research complete. And I just go right up on his army. This was kind of stupid. I pretty much just marched them to their death. But uh, <coughs> I still had so many units that it technically didn't matter. Taking out his second expansion. Trying to micro a little bit to get away from that expansion and take out some of these, uh... This sentry here. You want to go for the sentries first because they provide the shields and the, the force fields and they can fuck you up pretty good. So I take those out, grab as many probes as I can, grab as many stalkers as I can. If I didn't kill all my medevacs, my health wouldn't be so low here, but it doesn't matter. As you can see... <coughs> Sorry about that. My computer's lagging a little bit. He's got four stalkers left. I'm easily going to clean him out. I'm trying to warp in more for reinforcements, but it's not going to help. Uh, I should kill those. I'm going for the pylons first, I guess. Still, though, I should kill those first. Finally, I decide, yeah, I better kill those. Get them out of the way. Go for the pylons. He tries to warp one in here. No good. And then I move to his mineral line, and he leaves the game. Alright, so that's this game, guys. Thanks again for watching. Uh, good game to my opponent, Slick McRip. And decent game for me. I mean, I could play better, obviously. I still had so many minerals floating around. Um, I just gave away an expansion to my, to my opponent, but really, I mean, it didn't really matter in the end, obviously. And as you can see here, did not let my macro slip. As I was making that push, I was making... A bunch more units here getting ready to push some more even some tanks that you can siege up in front of their base and if you can siege up tanks like if you can get in their base and put a siege tank here and a siege tank here like they're they're basically fucked they can't get by that anyways thanks again for watching guys i appreciate it see you later